Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about the update schedule notice that we just got today or Monday. And it will be on day 21, this Wednesday. It will start at 5 am UTC, but they didn't tell when you finish. Normally it's like 4 hours, 3 hours, depends. So what we get? We already got in the dev note la last week that we get the imprint system, but we have other very interesting things. So we get the character level and growth expansion. expansion. So you build new Tetra Plus, Heart Star, Power Up Dungeon. So I show you guys the Tetra Plus and Heart Star. So new Tetra Plus, I think they will add the level 100. So my bet will be these two. This I think will unlock level 110, 100, and this 125, this peak. I'm not sure, I don't think they will put this other two, 35, 45, but maybe. Because actually we have a lot. Six, this, this, they, they just, this they just put new. You should get a reference. So my bet will be these two. We have this new speciality. I even complete a little bit. That's the one that will come with the new case field. There's no Tetris coming with it. So we maximum we can get some... The 50 will be this equi equipment summon and uh, some summons, familiar summons. That's it. And each of them will give you, for example, if you complete maximum, is you be fire defense and then fire damage here. So each of them is each element of fire, water, earth, and then light and dark. E each one for each element so achievements okay titles but here's a little tricky power up dungeon so this is the power up dungeon we have on korea as you can see this one in the family candle is go level eight okay this one is the gold there is no change we have a new tiers here but this we got recently and it's quite hard and it goes until 10. If we get a new power up dungeon, we'll be this one for sure. 9 and 10. And it's super hard. I cannot even finish. You need like a, even I have this CP and I cannot finish yet. And the prize are very good. Ah, maybe it's this one. Yeah. So I'm almost sure. Yeah, I finish 8. Because we got imprint materials. So for sure, I'm almost sure you'll be this, yes. So we get a new power up dungeon, that's nice. 9 and 10. But yeah, I cannot finish yet. And I think many global players cannot finish. It's so hard. Later, if you guys are curious, I do a demonstration how it is inside. So that's nice, that's a good, good update. So it'll be the new print system. If you guys are curious, in print system, I, I show you in another video. But uh, in print system, this system here. This little square. So it gives you attack and some percentage of if elemental damage and also fixed number of elemental damage. So you see this is the maximum you can get. It's kind of random, but you eventually can get how the values. I already did a video explaining this, but I will do one explaining in more details because we have a specific food. We have specific items we can use. So it's very nice. So the new chaos suit is very interesting. Because I've seen I've seen so many players complaining that there's no place to level up. And that's there's no challenge, new challenge. So this new chaos suit is very nice. So this is the new one we we'll get. Unfortunately, there is no floor three or four or even a boss. So that's the place, we have a speciality, the skills are the same, and the most are quite hard, we get the imprinting materials, you can get some just by doing it, but it's very difficult, if you want to boost, you, the once you get these imprinting materials, you need to use a specific food, but that's it, you get gemstones also, it's very, it looks the same as you see gemstones. The only exception is this, imprinting materials, 
I did a video about it. If you guys are curious, you can watch it. So the first is Winter's Wind Forgotten Garden and Ancient Frozen Corridor. So this is gets interesting. Squibby is here, guys. Squibby was supposed to come long time, and then they postponed everything. And now he's coming, so we are following the, the normal calendar of familiars. Squibby, if you guys are curious, I even have his familiar, but I have intention of doing a video of it. He's here. Squibby is a familiar that support. Actually, is one of the best healers in the game. People use a lot. She and the Toko is as a support familiar is one of the most used in the top 100 as far as I saw it. So that's very good. So it's a water element. So many players made the builds against Toko. Like uh, and the Squibby can be a good option because we don't have many earth element familiars that can counter you. So she can be a good good uh, choice of support. So after her will be the new episode. So we we we's not very sure what it could be. If it's the P rates, it'll be this one. They announce this one, Petal. And if it's Halloween, it'll be the Aurora Lynx. I don't have it, it's the light cat. So I'm very curious if it's next week or in two weeks, what they announce. Because this will be the next episode. And everything indicates that it'll be a Halloween event. So let's see. So a new mount, Zephyr. Zephyr is this mount here. Here, it's a flying horse. Very nice, right? So it increases your attack, health, and this one is critical defense. That's it. You, it's just, you can get it only by buying it. So another amount will be available. So new costume, auto outfit. So this one looks very nice. For engineer is this one. I, I even have this one. This after will be available on the custom banner, but I'm not sure when they will add it. Or if they will ever add it on the, on the global because they are doing things a little different on global above the customs. So here's the autumn custom to craft here. I think it's possible to craft also here. And this is a spoon here, 20, and you can craft. But I'm not sure if they will ever do that on global. So that's the combination for engineer. If you guys are curious, I can make a video showing for each hero or it looks like. But just keep in mind that after this, you get the Halloween. And Halloween looks so nice. For every hero, they, they have a very nice custom. Very nice, right? For <laughs> engineer. <laughs> a little witch. So the view have new events for getting more imprint medals. Nothing very crazy. So that's it. I think the biggest surprise was the power up dungeon. This will be very nice because this is the ad actually late on Korean server. The, I had like in May, so after like four months after we have this system, they add so, so it's again they are really rushing the content. I think the only thing that's quite sad that uh, this is basically for high levels. There is nothing that uh, people that's not at level 104 can enjoy, because this you have to pay, this you have to pay, and this, in some degree, you have to pay us. Because there will be better familiars coming in the future. Squibby will be available in the common banner. So I'm very curious what which episode they come after. My bet will be the Halloween. They just jump in the P rates. So in two weeks we'll know if they will implement a new episode or you get helix because this is the time of helix. So let's see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you on the next video.